Hi, I'm Sue Carney. I'm glad you're here. I've been playing with blobs and learning just how runny slash thick your paint wants to be. I started seeing other artists work with blobs and of course they caught my eye. I mean, look at this stuff. It's really amazing. And while I don't think I'm going to create artwork as mannered as this, there is something so satisfying about working with thick paint and making blobs. Let's look. This is how I usually mix my paint, thin and runny, because I want it all to interact and mix together to one degree or another. But now for blobs, I had to do it differently. This is the first time I get to think about creating a thicker paint mixture, not adding so much medium so that it will mound up and retain a mound shape even as it dries. I'm discovering, in fact, that you want to see that little nipple. I'm discovering that when I get my paint to the right consistency, that little nipple will recede and the roundness will stay. As you can see in this evolving test piece of mine, I'm not getting consistent rounding, mounding on my blobs, and I'm also not getting consistent roundness of the shapes. So even though I don't see blob painting as something that's compositionally attractive to me, I am having a ton of fun coming back to this little tile over and over again and looking for what makes the blob work. How I hold the bottle, making sure I keep the tip inside the wet paint as I squeeze. Yeah, it's, I, it's meditative. And I think it's really um, a nice thing to practice and play with. Practicing this skill is steadying my hand. It's teaching me a lot about paint consistency. Whether or not I set out to make a mandala-like blob painting anytime soon, I'm having a ton of fun with this. By the way, please note, that black paint is way too thin and not holding its shape. Compare it to this purpley stuff, which is way more better. As usual, I hope this inspires and encourages you to try something new, to mess around, to experiment, and to have fun. So, hey, mix some thicker paint and start blobbing. Whether or not you set out to make mandala blob art, it's a good skill and it's fun to do. Let me know how you go. Hit the subscribe button. Please share this. And I'll see you next time. Thanks again.